Final question. Why is it that the left, if we can use that term, have a sort of a sympathy for Islam? It would seem to me that the left, who is pro, you know, uh, homosexual marriage and all this stuff, would, would be very much opposed to Islam um, as well as Christianity, but even perhaps more so Islam. Why is it that, that do you think, because I actually can't figure it out, yeah. that it seems that you know we, we want to talk about islamophobia and uh I, you know these these sorts of things but um mm. yeah. yeah any guesses yeah well i mean yeah if, if you look at the if you look at the ideologies i mean islam you know gay people have to be killed uh women can be beaten into submission uh women according to muhammad women uh, a, a woman's testimony is worth half of a man's testimony because women are inherently uh, less intelligent and less moral. You look at this stuff and you you would think, wait a minute, there's no way. There's no mm-hmm. way. Uh, I mean, if, if you if you if you look even closer, Muhammad is described as the whitest prophet in the history of, of the prophets, and he bought, owned, sold, and traded black African slaves. His followers mm. started the uh, institutionalized the the slavery of Africans a long time, a long time before the United States even existed. Um, and he would have sex with his with his slave, with his slave girls, and he even got one of them pregnant. And so you you look at this and you say this should be a paradigm example of someone that you know leftists would reject and want to condemn, uh, and yet they seem to be best buddies. And it just seems to be like they're both focusing on an enemy. And right. hey, as long as we have the same enemy, even though right, it's right, our right. enemy, even though it's our enemy for completely different reasons, we need to unite for now. Maybe we'll have our disagreements later. Mm. And it's basically the you know the the people on the far left think that if they if they can if they can bring down their main enemy, they think you know they've just won everything. Whereas the Muslims are thinking, yeah, if we can bring down these other people, then then we're going to win. I personally think that. If it ever comes down to Islam versus leftists, I think the leftists are going to get eaten alive. In about, Antifa in, in, with their little about, yeah, little baseball get, bats. They're going to get eaten alive in about two seconds. <laughs> so yeah, but yeah, I I think it's just you know I think it's just we have a common enemy, so let's unite for now. And I've I've even I've even seen Muslims who are being interviewed admit that they're saying yes, we understand that we have completely different positions on gay rights yeah. and things like that, but we need. To keep quiet about that stuff for now. Very good. Very for shrewd. Now. Yeah. Yeah. There's a line from philosopher Peter Kraft: "When an enemy is at the door, feuding brothers reconcile." Which I think he meant in relation to Protestants and Catholics against secularism. But there's something similar going on there. Thank you for watching this clip. You can click here to watch the full episode. And I want to say a big thanks to our sponsors and to our amazing patrons for making all of this possible. Please do us a favor before you go, click that subscribe button and then the bell. And that way YouTube will be forced to let you know every time we put out a new episode.